Jorge Katainen joins me now. Now, of course, talking about jobs, growth, investment, competitiveness in the EU. You are, of course, also uh, the ex-Prime Minister of uh, Finland. And you have just been talking to the forum today uh, about transitioning to a sustainable food chain. What was your central message? Uh, my central message was that we need to look what EU's common agricultural policy can do more or differently than what we have uh, or how we have used CAP so far. So the trends for the future is that, uh, of course, agriculture must be profitable. Everybody agrees on this. But then um, circular economy could play a bigger role. Because, um, uh, I mean, agriculture is the most obvious candidate for boosting circular economy because we are talking about um, uh, recycling of nutrients, for instance. So this is one trend. Also, uh, we have to use EU's resources more to R&D, research and development projects, when it comes to food production and, and circularity. And finally, we have to look uh, how we can strengthen market-based approach because um, running all capacity is very, very costly and it doesn't serve anybody's purpose. In your experience, what are the challenges then to achieving some of these goals? Of course, uh, especially now when, um, uh, when UK will leave uh, the EU, it means that our budget, the common EU budget, uh, is, in, uh, is under pressure. So I would be very surprised if the budget would be bigger in the future than it is at the moment. So, so that's why how to spend existing resources or smaller amount of resources comes to the picture. This is probably one of the biggest challenges. Let me ask you about the, the impact of Brexit because of course Article 50 is triggered tomorrow. Nordic countries like Finland will understand how partnership, whether loose or tight, is extremely important for the future of agriculture and the environment. Yeah, that's true. So uh, it's impossible uh, at the moment to assess the impact of Brexit to agriculture, uh, common agricultural policy. But uh, the one thing which we more or less know for sure is that it will put a pressure to the joint budget. How big pressure it is, we don't know yet. It's still open pressure. But regardless of the size of the budget, we have to uh, look how uh, we could use CAP money more efficient way in order to make agriculture to be more recyclable or, or supporting uh, circular economy, how to make it more profitable and how to strengthen market-based approach. How important are forums like this to come together and talk to move towards solutions? We've had, for example, Dame Ellen MacArthur talk about the circular economy today. I think it's extremely important because uh, everybody is struggling with the same challenges around the world. So uh, simply to listen, for instance, Ellen MacArthur, uh, what are the opportunities which already now exist, give some hope. And uh, agriculture is at the very center of uh, big changes in the world. So uh, it cannot be seen only as a traditional food production uh, activity, but it has a big impact to the entire so societal development and it can be a driver of new economies too. So that's why uh, these kind of events are extremely important. Thank you very much. Thank you.